guys in this video I am going to show you what are x-rays how are they produced and what are their properties and all these things would be done through beautiful animation so that you could understand it easily and perfectly so without further ado let's get started let's have a look at uh, some of the facts about x-rays they were first discovered by Ronthogen in 1890 X-rays are electromagnetic radiations having a wavelength uh, ranging from 0.01 to 10 nanometer, frequency from 30 petahertz, beta mean 10 to the power 15 to 30 exahertz, and energy from 100 electron volt to 100 kilo electron volt. X-rays with 5 to 10 kilo volt are called hard, while less than this voltage are called soft X-rays. They are of the two types, characteristic X-rays and Bremsstrahlung. Former give line spectrum, while the latter give continuous spectrum, and I'll show you in coming slides. X-ray can also be produced by fast positive ion. Energy of X-rays depend on applied voltage. Modern method of X-ray production is synchron way of production, which is actually the application of magnetic field to produce X-ray. So you are pretty much familiar with this sort of X-rays you might have seen in your life. And of course, you are not too much familiar with this tube, which of course was a crude tube used by the earlier chemists. Uh, here you can see this is an electromagnetic spectrum. And if you look at in this particular region, you see X-rays. So this is a small part of entire electromagnetic spectrum which can constitute X-rays. Here you can see even more clearly these are X-rays which means they are ionizing radiations and are very much dangerous. So how are they produced? How are they produced and what is their mechanism? Let's see. This is actually the tube. This is a glass tube and uh, over here you can see uh, an electrode is fitted which is actually a cathode a uh, target metal which could be uh, tungsten or molybdenum which which have high melting point and boiling points they are uh, set as a target and here is a mechanism for outflow of the water water comes from this side and goes out from this side so that uh, the heat produced or heat generated by the striking of the electrons could be conducted out so how this happens let's see electrons which are coming from this side they are being produced by thermionic emission of the electrode when these electrons come to hit this metal target x-rays are emitted from this metal target and they go out of this window that is provided over here this is how x-rays are produced this is their uh, instrumentation Apply applied voltage applied voltage is 50 kV. only two percent conversion to x-rays takes place the rest of um, the energy goes to heat let's see what is the mechanism of production of x-rays but before going into the detail let's see a classical picture of uh, an atom you know that in a classical uh, scenario we see that electrons are moving if you look at this atom there are electrons i have shown electrons in, in klm and this is actually the n shell okay here you can see electrons so before going into the detail let me um frame how this all happens Electrons in this case shell follows a circular path when an electron which is coming from outside which is coming from the cathode strikes this electron which is in a metal target this electron that is coming from outside have enough energy to expel this electron from this atom when this electron goes out of this atom then then this shell becomes empty an electron from the next shell falls into this and when this electron comes from the next shell into this shell then x-rays are emitted which are equal to the difference between l and k shell okay just have a look at this electrons coming from outside hitting this electron and uh, x-rays are coming out of it these x-rays which are produced by the falling of electron from the L shell to the K shell are called K alpha X-rays and similarly when an electron falls to fill up the space in K shell from the M shell then the X-ray produced are called beta X-rays and similarly X-rays um, X-rays being generated from the falling of the electrons from M and N shells are uh, much stronger and uh, uh, even much harder x-rays x-rays generated by this method are called characteristic x-rays they have sharp peaks in their spectrum there is another method which is called bremsstrahlung method or bremsstrahlung radiations in this case when an electron coming from the cathode moves near the nucleus and it gets decelerated as a result of which the kinetic energy of this electron is converted into x-rays like this so decelerated electron also produced x-rays which are called bremsstrahlung radiations they are 80 percent 80 percent of the x-ray produced are 
Bremsstrahling radiations. They are produced by the deceleration of the electrons which becomes decelerated when they pass close by the nucleus. Here is uh, the spectrum that you can see. These spikes belong to characteristic X-rays when electrons fall from one shell to the other shell and this region that you can see continuous region and uh, this region belongs to uh, Bremsstrahling radiations. This is the modern tube. This is a, a sort of tube and here you can see this is the cathode this is the anode which receives electron from this cathode and it keeps on rotating so that the energy generated as a result of uh, striking of the electrons could be conducted out let's see some of the properties of x-rays x-rays are highly penetrating and invisible radiation which are unaffected by electric or magnetic field they travel at the speed of light and ionize gases in its path they can affect photographic film produce chemical changes and biological changes too. They release heat when interact with the matter. X-rays can also be produced by fast positive ions.